who I found. This is Josh, director of exhibitions here at the Michener Art Museum in Doylestown. Oh. Hi. How are you? Thanks for the invite. Yeah, you're anytime. We're having a great time. Uh, showcasing Keith Haring's work. He was so prolific, and it's just a tragedy that we lost him at 31 years of age? At 31 years of age in 1990. So yeah. all of the work you see here was done in a 10-year period of time. 10 years. So I'm just going to point to stuff. Sure. What's the most iconic? Is it the baby? So the Radiant Baby is probably Keith Haring's most iconic work, and that's partly because it was part of his signature as well. Oh, really? Yeah. You uh, got a baby if you got something signed. Yeah, if you got a Keith Haring signature, it often came with a Radiant Baby with it. Um, what about, is that a dog? So there is also a well-known dog figure, which yeah. is also sometimes called the Four-Legged Beast, mm -hmm. uh, where uh, uh, Keith Haring would incorporate that into many of his other iconic works as well. Yeah. So, born in Reading? Born in Reading, raised in Kutztown. Kutztown. Uh, moves to Pittsburgh to attend school and decides that that's not where he wants to be. He wants to be in the heart of the action in New York. New York and City. so moves to New York in the 1980s. And then and it becomes a graffiti artist. What? Yeah, more or less a street artist. And a working street artist. Predominantly on the subway system. Subways, yes. Yeah. So this is pop art. It is exclusively pop art. It, it seems like his impressions are all over the world on all sorts of different items. Yeah, so Keith was uh, prolific in his use of commercial objects uh, in helping to disseminate his art and democratizing access to art. I'll be darned. I, over here, see the, it looks like empty frames. Mm. What is that? So he also used bas relief. Um, oh, it's, to, a, it's, so relief. It's, a, it's a relief surface, yeah. So he had the icons above and the relief below. Um, these. Mm. These are famous too. What is, are they collages? Yeah, so he also did a series of collages in the Apocalypse series. So this is about the time that Keith found out that he had HIV AIDS. And so his uh, work starts to take this transformation uh, into investigating a little bit more of his personal reflections on, on the epidemic in New York at the time. What's people's reaction to the exhibit here? Uh, the reaction so far has been extremely successful. Yeah. Uh, people have been very excited to see this artist or this local hero return to the area and uh, to be able to see this artist of international acclaim uh, at a local museum. So, is that the Mona Lisa? It is the Mona Lisa. I mean, <laughs> everywhere you look, something catches your eye and the, the intricacy of a lot of the work. Was he a sculptor as well? He did do some sculptural work, and so uh, actually in Kutztown you'll find some of his large sculptures. He did a, a lot of collaboration yeah. uh, in the production of those. Okay. So he would do design elements and then uh, have them produced or fabricated. Can we tell a little secret about the James Michener Art Museum? Absolutely. This used to be a prison? Yes. Uh, this institution was a prison in the 1800s up until uh, the 1970s and 80s. Is that why in the sculpture garden that wall is so high? Yes, it was to keep... <laughs> Keep people in. It keep worked. People out. It did work. Yes. Uh, again, thanks for having us in. Thank you so much, Mike. Okay, more than two one five coming up.